Hello, Pigeon Flyers. Happy New Year. It's December 30th. It's wet, cold, rainy outside. I thought I'd sit down at my computer and make a quick video to show how you can use Google Maps to help train your racing pigeons. And the best part about this is it doesn't cost anything. It's free. It's a great program. It might, kind of looks like a jumbled mess. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deactivate some of these layers and talk to you about what we're looking at here. All right. So the star represents my loft. This first circle's five miles from my loft, 10 miles, 20 miles, and 30 miles from my loft. So when I get ready to train my birds, I'm going to change this to satellite view so you can see what, what I'm looking at. The first toss, I do the first toss the same place every year. Um, I do it from this a, a guy's driveway. Um, it's right up here. The loft's down here. It's about 1.5 miles. So that's, that's the first toss that I do. So let's say that first toss was made on April 6th. I'm going to go ahead and put the date in there that I made that toss. Um, this is just kind of an example. Um, and let's say birds came together uh, 15 minutes. All right. And, and I'm going to save that spot. Um, so my, my next toss I'm going to do, let's say... I'm going to bring the birds out to about five miles. There's a, a fire station I like to train from. It's five miles from my loft. I'm going to train the second toss from that five mile spot. Um, and let's say this is the next day. It's the uh, 22. They came good. Um, and save that. All right. Uh, the next day I might toss uh, uh, somewhere over over here. There's a park that I like to train from that's five miles from my loft. It's right here. Let's say that was on on April the 8th. Um, sorry, 22 and you could put the birds came together. So what I like to do, let me zoom out, kind of talk about this for a sec. So here's the loft. I bring them to that first toss, and then I bring them, you could say, around the compass. Um, I bring them um, east of the loft, west of the loft. You know, and there's other places. I might, I might bring them north or south, and it's not exactly. If they're coming good at five miles, I'll bump them out to the 10-mile spot. Then I'll bump them out to a 20-mile spot, and then out to 30 miles. I like marking after I, I toss the birds I like keeping a record and, and marking where they where, where I toss them from just so you can compare year to year and you can kind of see what works I'm going to deactivate 2022 tosses and let's look at 2017 tosses so these are the tosses I made in 2017 um, and I don't know if I got them all in here you know hopefully I did but uh, here's the first toss second you know and 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 they're kind of kind of grouped together um, what I like to do um, is over here you can click and look at a data table and you can see the dates of what the to when the tosses were and any notes. Um, you know, I single toss from, from this spot and I lost a bird. Um, I don't do a whole lot of single tossing, but I do do some, and I usually train the same spot the day before. So on the 31st, yeah, it's, it's the exact same spot. So on the 31st, I, I tossed them. I tossed them all together, and they they came good. And then the next day, I brought them into that same spot, and I and I, I, I single tossed them, and, and and I lost a bird. I don't know. I think it's just helpful to keep track of your training from year to year, so you know you know what what's working. Do you need a Do you need a road train more? Do you need a road train less? Um, I, I just I think that's helpful. All right. So keep record of your training. I think it's really good to use Google Maps to do that. But you can, you, can, you can go a couple steps further. And what I've done is I plotted all of my race stations. Um, let me zoom out so you can see them. So these are my race stations. I fly from the east to the west. Um, so my training tosses are the red marks. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and delete those now or, or turn them off so we can uh, have a little better view. First race for me is Sparks, Nevada. It's about 90... 
90 miles, and then we go to Fernley, we go to Lovelock, the furthest race is way out, way out here to Carlin, um, and that's uh, 300, 300 miles. But what I have is th these lines. This line represents the direct line from my loft to the furthest north station, and then the furthest south station. So on race day, the birds are gonna come, hopefully, in this triangle. Um, this would be called the, the line of flight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn on my 17 race station. Um, you know, uh, the majority of my training tosses, especially the weeks leading up to the race, the days leading up to the race, I want to be along this line of flight. Um, and, and it, you know, it, it's, just, it's just helpful. I'm going to change the view from satellite to terrain. My birds have to fly, uh, they fly through the Nevada desert up over Donner Pass, over the Sierra Nevadas. Donner Pass is 7,000 feet. My loft down here is, is 400 feet. So they fly over the pass and then they get in these valleys, uh, really following the rivers, um, and, and they're coming down. So I want my training tosses to be in around where these valleys come out, and, and uh, I want my birds to know this terrain really, really well so they can orient to home. Um, just just quicker and know where they're at and that's why we why we basket train but we know when we release the birds on race day from this first station is is sparks they don't they're not all flying back to my loft so I'm going to turn off my my young bird tosses and what I've done is I've put all my club members and also my combine members the guys we're flying against in here so these are lofts representing people that are in my club that I'm flying against, and then these are combine lofts, people that, that I'm flying against. So I'm in a good spot. The majority of the birds are coming down into this area, but there are these outlying guys. Um, so my birds on race day from this first race, they could be mixed up with this guy's birds, or maybe some of them get mixed up with this guy's birds, and they're flying somewhere up here. So the bulk of my training tosses, I want to be in this area, but I do want some tosses to be up here and that, that this would be north of the line of flight and and i also want tosses to be down here south of the line of flight just so my birds are familiar with the landmarks and when they see them they can they can reorient and 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 know the best path to get back down to my loft anyway i hope this video is health uh helpful it's a little bit long i apologize um i hope everyone has a very successful uh, breeding season and a happy new year and, and races go well take care